Well, um, I, I know in 2004, I think it was, you said global warming was a total crock of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and my, 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 my attitude has been reinforced since then. Really? Yeah. What was it, the tornadoes today that we've never seen anything like that? that Listen, abnormal, abnormal weather patterns around the world have been a fact of life. If, you look, at, if you look at... Uh, the history of hurricanes per and well, when I was a kid growing up, we had hurricanes in Scarsdale, New York. That was but, in 1941. And none of the predictions have come about, true. What about the fact that is the overwhelming consensus of all the climate scientists? That's that's it, that's not true. It is true. No. Yes, there it is. is no overwhelming. Ah, uh, you're in the bubble, Bob. You're in the bubble. <laughs> you're in the bubble. You have to shout at the bubble. <laughs> The, the only scientist... Now, here, we have a scientist right here. I was here. trying to stay out of that one. No. <laughs> There's a scientist right here. But, uh, you know, there's... Historically, there's a saying in the scientific community that every great scientific truth goes through three phases. First, people deny it. Right. Second, they say it conflicts with the Bible. Third, they say they've known it all along. <laughs> and so, we just have to ask, where are we in this scale of this... Of this conflicts emergent. with the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we've actually gone backwards. Excuse me. We've actually gone backwards because 20 years ago, Republicans did believe that cl climate change was happening. They just had a different way to approach it, cap and trade, which is now the Democratic answer. And somehow now the Republicans have moved to it's a hoax. It's not happening at all. No. So how do you explain? Well, what that? I have seen is that at the early phases of this, people were in denial of any global warming at all. The, the, the naysayers. Then, as the evidence kept building, they said, okay, we accept that the Earth is getting warmer, but humans are not responsible for it. Uh, so, that's, so there's some incremental uh, acquiescence there that no one seems to be yeah, talking but about. But what I, what I pay attention to is, uh, so if you don't want to believe all the scientists, <laughs> I have another way for you to approach the problem, and that is you can take your cue from the rest of the animal and plant kingdom. Animals are migrating in different rates. Plants are migrating north that never made it north before because they can now sustain the warmth that is there. They're, they're uh, plants that are getting fertilized earlier than before. The migration patterns have shifted. And so nature is telling us what we're... Nature already knows the answer to what it is everyone here is arguing and about. I, and I That's how I get my cue 